Hey, hello everybody. Bob Danley and the uh, One Board meet, uh, group. We're going to talk about Twitter cards today. And it's basically market media rich website posts. And um, this is really a cool little tool, especially if you're on Twitter quite a bit. It's a great way to uh, market your hard work at creating really good website postings. Um, Twitter cards have been around since 2014. I view them as like an elegant link because they preview content from your web post. So each time you or someone tweets your web post, your Twitter card gets attached. And I'll show you an example here in just a second, just to let you know that this is kind of like tweets on steroids. There's four kinds of Twitter cards, okay? Uh, number one is summary card is really the most basic Twitter card. It previews web content. That means the title, description, and a thumbnail from your, your posting gets displayed. Um, number two is the summary card with large image. That's the same as the basic summary card, except obviously it has a large image. I use that one almost exclusively because I'm big into photography and it's got it. So you can see it's got a red box around it and that's what I'm gonna talk about for the balance of this presentation. There is also a player card. I don't have any experience posting that, but it, it will play video and audio that you have embedded in your website. And then there is an app card <clears throat> which would link to an online store where your app resides for immediate download, which Seems to me like really a cool um, thing to have happen, especially if you're if you're in the business. So again, this is a this is a what a summary card with a large image on the left looks like versus a plain tweet. On the right hand side, you can see one of my tweets where I'm talking about pollinator gardens um, attracting um, dragonflies. And in the red box, you can see that there is a short link there to a web uh, posting that I had about dragonflies. And I just happened to put up a big image of a butterfly to make it attractive. That's your plain Twitter tweet, okay? So if you, if you use a Twitter card, not only will you be able to add, you know, a summary like the top red arrow. We're talking about the left image here, but also the Twitter card is the large image that's below that first paragraph, along with the description of what that website posting is. So you can see the title, the description, and again, the large image. And you can see why it's really an elegant way to market your your postings on your website. Now, according to Twitter itself, in fact, at the bottom line, there's a big link there where you can go and get all the fine details and steps that I've kind of boiled down here on this particular slide. But they say it only takes 15 minutes to create or to do all the steps to basically get your web page coded to show up as a Twitter card, one of four kinds of Twitter cards. So all you have to do is add the correct meta tags, the coding to your page, and then you run the URL through a validator tool to test if it's working okay. Um, I'm not aware what whitelisting is, but if you folks actually um, put up a video, you'll have to uh, find out what that really is. And then um, to actually, tweet a Twitter card is you embed your URL in your tweet. And then when you hit the tweet, it will convert to the actual Twitter card. So I'll show you that in just a minute here. We're just going to go over using plugins, which are um, for us folks that are really afraid of, of, <laughs> of entering code ourselves. Um, I have a WordPress.org site. So that allows me to use plugins, and there are several that you can choose from, but I, I have chosen Yoast SEO because it's simple. It does only summary slash summary with large image cards, which makes it really easy. Um, the steps to 
do that on your WordPress site or log into the, the WordPress dashboard, install Yoast SEO plugin, then go to the left-hand column of your dashboard and you'll see a title SEO, and then you go to social, and then you fill out that in that box, there'll be a couple areas where you, you will enter your Twitter username, number one. And then number two, you want to enable the Twitter metadata, metadata on the Twitter tab, and then you save. And then the final step to getting this to work is visit the Twitter card validator, and there's the URL to go to. You'll put in the URL for your particular post, and then it will make sure that the feature is active. So it's really pretty straightforward. So this is what I did this morning. I tweeted a Twitter card, and the left photo in the slide shows the actual draft of the tweet, and you can see where the red arrow is. There's the URL to the website posting that I wanted to, to pop up as a Twitter card, and the right and photo is actually what it looks like after I t I hit the tweet button. So you can see that there's a large image, and then below it there's the title of the web posting, and then a little description of what that's all about. So it really looks um, it looks like you want to well actually you're doing folks a favor because you're introducing what it is all about so that they get a little preview. Again, to try to get people to click through to your website. I think it's really great because again, it lets people know what, they're, what they could be going to, and then uh, obviously they can make a more informed decision. So I kind of breezed through this kind of quick and it was kind of WordPress centric, but if there's questions that you have right now, I'll, I'll try to answer it to my best of ability. Did you um, notice that uh, you get more um, engagement when you do the Twitter cards, Bob? No, that's a really good question, Nina. That uh, right now it doesn't seem to be uh, really working that great for me, but, but I'm only into this like at less than a half a dozen of these posts. So I think it's a little early to say, um, but I, I really looking at uh, what you can embed in your tweet, it's pretty great, especially if you have a lot of uh, you know, images to share. Um, nothing like seeing something rather than reading it. I, that's my way of thinking on it. Yeah, thank you. It, it looks amazing and uh, a bit more technical to me, but it's worth uh, getting the habit. I, I have a question. Uh, go, yeah, go for it, Peggy. If your web page or post has multiple images, does it always just show the first one? On yeah, the page? that's that's right. Uh, although you know, there's uh, there's plugins and or coding that you can add to, to direct uh, the card to pick out the one that you want. Now that's um, you'll have to play with that yourself because I I've never done it. I usually make sure that the the image that I want is the first one up. In other words, on WordPress, you, you, you can designate an image as the, to represent the entire post, and that's what I do. And, and it, every time I've done it, it's always picked up on that image successfully. So um, yeah, that's kind of a, that's a good question. It's a, in fact, it's on a lot of uh, these sites that uh, ask questions about Twitter cards, and that's probably one of the most uh, regular ones is the which image does it really pick up on? But if you go to Twitter's developer website, which I created that link on, I think was slide number four, um, it has all sorts of details on, you know, adding code to your header on your web page if you if you have no fear of doing so, and it will help you help guide you into choosing what photo you do want to use. Okay, Bob, that was a very great instruction to do the Twitter cards. I think I have to run through it some more times.
Yeah, because no, there a, are several yeah. steps of uh, getting some links very verified. Yeah, no, I I understand oh. that, and you know, yeah. it's it, it's okay. the The yeah. idea of this presentation is to basically break the uh, the ice and yeah. introduce you to the idea, and then That's you can very slowly, great. yes, yeah, and then you can slowly go at it. I don't think, uh, yeah. Just let yeah, me you, add the idea about the whitelist. White yeah, listing, go for it. Whitelisting means to make sure that this link wouldn't be deleted occasionally or falsely so you can whitelist on your email contacts you make a list with contacts you want never to be deleted that's what you would call a whitelist mm -hmm. interesting so that's yep. what what's meant here if i understand it correctly no, that sounds. Uh, what you just described sounds like what they would, what they were talking about is is that they want to make sure that whatever you're posting, you know, is true to form, so to speak, is yours, not somebody else's. Right. And, yeah. Right. So, right. So that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. For so example, oh, by, all our domains are whitelisted now uh, oh. on, on the on one board network. Monica, Bob, Peggy, and I, we have whitelisted domains so we can interact in between outside domain to on domain basis. That's another whitelist related to domains. Um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's yes. definitely value added. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm curious if we can produce a Twitter card for our OneBoard Google site. Uh, you, do we have yeah, a Twitter account? Well, I, I, I've read that you can do it with Blogger. If you could do it with Blogger, you probably could do it with a Google site. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking it, it has to do with a specific post, though. So, it, you know, um, yeah, in fact, I think it's it's likely that you could do it. Yeah. 